Our worship is oneness in him. So what we're going to do is in four stages, we're going to go through God's design for oneness. Then we're going to talk about frequencies. Then we'll combine frequencies and oneness. And hopefully we will get to the practice points that we can take home because we don't want to just learn something and not apply it to our life. God gave this topic because he wants us to know more about it and he wants to us to engage in it more. So starting with God's design for oneness, it begins in Genesis. God created the heavens and the earth and all that is within. That's oneness. You can get details by going to Genesis 1, John 1, and John 38. His creation includes the sky, light, stars, planet, wind, thunder, collections of water, collections of dry land, vegetation, animals, humans, and much more. That's pretty, a pretty large scope. And we'll see that it goes from that cosmic view all the way down to the quantum subatomic view. God created all, knows all, and is everywhere. Psalm 139, 2 through 10 says, Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend up into heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even here shall your hand lead me and your right hand shall hold me wherever we go there he is we are all in him deuteronomy 6 4 through 5 this is a very important prayer hear o israel the lord our god is one lord and you shall love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your might. One in Hebrew is ikad, which is an aleph, a ket, and a dalit. And if you put the, the meanings of them together, one way of interpreting it is the strength of the leader at the door. As believers, Jesus prayed for us to be one, just as he is one with Father God. We are one in Christ, his many-membered body, and we are filled with Holy Spirit. We are interconnected. We are one. Here are some scripture references that you can go to from John, Luke, and Acts. Acts. 